We begin with a shocking story in Queens. A driver wedges his car and then gets stuck in the protected lanes of the Pulaski Bridge, which connects Brooklyn to Queens. And it took police and a tow truck hours to get him out. And now they are looking into how he ended up there in the first place. Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon is live on the scene with the very latest. Sonia. So this is the pedestrian lane. If you wanted to walk from Queens over to Brooklyn, the traffic lane is all the way over there. You can see there's a bike lane in the middle and it's got a, a bollard indicating to drivers not to come through here. There's nothing like that here on the pedestrian side in the lane here. It's just a raised sidewalk, but somehow a driver in the middle of the night mistook this for a traffic lane and got into a sticky situation. Police got the call at around three in the morning. A Honda Accord stuck in the narrow part of the pedestrian lane on the Brooklyn bound side of the Pulaski Bridge. The driver gone. He probably would have had to exit the car via a window because it was wedged in so tightly. There's no way a door would have opened. It took this ESU team a few hours to pry it out. They tried cutting, lifting, tilting and slowly driving it, backing it out the same way it got in. Eventually getting a tow truck as far into the lane as it could get without getting damaged and pulling it out. By this point, it was pretty mangled. Now, police would love to talk to that driver and perhaps find out what they were doing that caused them to make such a dangerous mistake on Christmas night. Thankfully, no pedestrians were hurt.